Hey guys, welcome back to our beginner series and today we're going to be going over how to kite. Uh, kiting is the perfect thing to do on the drop zone when it's too windy to jump or if you're just a bit bored at home and you've got a local park nearby you can go have a little play. So let's have a look at it. So first off, um, why do we actually want to kite the canopy? There's a few reasons. Uh, it's good awareness for our canopy control. We can also be looking at the canopy, seeing what, what the canopy does and how it reacts when we do the inputs. It's also really helpful for on those windy days when we are jumping, learning how to shut the canopy down nice and quickly. And also, it's just fun. So, let's have a go. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need. Obviously, we need a nice windy day. We want more consistent wind uh, rather than gusty. It makes it a lot easier to keep the canopy up and continue to kite it. We also want a nice big open field. This is going to help with um, smoother wind as well. So obviously, your landing area, your drop zone when you're not jumping is perfect. Uh, but just be sure to check and make sure you're allowed in the landing area uh, when it's not being used and you're not going to be annoying anybody. A couple other things to go over. Um, for this, we've taken the D-bag of pilot chute off the top. Uh, it actually takes drag and reduces a little bit of weight on top of the canopy, so it does make it easier to get up. That's completely optional. You can do it with the D-bag on and the pilot chute on, but we've chosen to take it off. Um, the brakes are unstowed, and also the, uh, the slider. We're going to collapse it, and we're going to sit it as far down behind our head as possible, so we have a nice view of the canopy when we're fighting it. And lastly, uh, which is very important, I would say, for much windier days, um, is doing your leg straps up a little bit and having them on. You can just rest on your shoulder, but if it's really gusty, then there's a chance that that canopy is just going to pull you away. Cool, so starting off, guys, we're, get, we're actually going to be trying to fly blind, which means our risers are going to be crossed. So we want to lay the canopy out on the ground, nose up as, as exposed as possible, and that's going to help us pull it up and get it into the air. Um, we're going to use our front risers, uh, they're going to help drive it up and then once we get it up, we want to get onto the rears and the toggles, okay? Um, you don't need to have your toggles in your hand and definitely for right now, it's a bit easier to not have them. So with the nose up, we're going to get the front a little tweak. We're just going to get that canopy up and then once we've got it up, we want to transition to the toggles and the rear risers. There we go. Now we're just going to try and keep it up there as long as the wind stays consistent. As the canopy starts to drop, get those front lines a little sweet. Cool, so there you go guys, so that was uh, a few of the basics on how to kite and you can see there at the end uh, when I was shutting the canopy down how it can be super useful and also learning that transition from blind to forwards or in this case after you've landed from forwards to blind. So hopefully this has been helpful, hopefully you've learned something and uh, just remember when it's a bit windy on the drop zone you can still have a bit of fun and uh, enjoy your Icarus canopy. Anyway, cheers for watching and we'll see you next time.